Welcome to a TB Aquatics Real World Review. TB Aquatics has provided products for this video. TB Aquatics has no editorial control over the video or the contents. The views presented in this video may or may not represent the views of TB Aquatics. The reviews of the products are 100% those of the video personality and were not influenced by TB Aquatics. Okay, so again, we're taking a look at the nitrate test kit from NEOS. I've been using the API for nitrate. I've tried the Red Sea test kit for nitrate as well. I don't know. Uh, the Red Sea Pro stuff, I don't really care for it. So I'm not even going to show you. I was hoping that these vials would be plastic like in the uh, carbonate hardness test kit from Neos, but they are glass. One of them has a cap, one of them it does not. The cap is plastic. There's this uh, nice color reference chart for your results. We'll see how that works in a second. Nice piece of foam, plastic syringe, five millimeters, millimeters, milliliters. Nice little baggie with reagents, and one of the reagents has a little cabbage patch size ice cream spoon. Here's the instruction manual. Th these pictures are a quick reference for after you've already read all the detailed instructions. This is how you perform the test. My language, feel free to pause the video if you want to read these detailed instructions or you have this test kit and you've lost yours. It says it's good for approximately 40 tests. Okay, so we got our two vials here. Five milliliters each. I like this syringe. It's, uh, I don't know how it's going to hold up after 50 tests, but, or 40 tests, but it's, uh, I think it'll be fine. I might even use it beyond that and use it with some other test kits. Five drops. These little locking rings that are like on there to make sure that it's brand new and sealed, I just get rid of them because they always interfere with the test. I don't leave them on the bottle. Add one measuring spoon of NO3-2 to this jar. Here's the second reagent it wants us to use. Getting this level, which is what I assume you're supposed to do. I think this was the most difficult reagent to level off. Not a, Like I said, not a huge deal, but it wasn't mindless to get that done. seemed to fall out of the scooper with just a nice little tap there. One thing I don't like, I'm just going to say it straight up, is the cap for this reagent, this powder, is the same cap that they want you to use for your, your actual test. So the only way I was able to notice which cap was which when they were laying on the table is the one with the reagent had some powder in there. So if you're gonna have to be really careful that when these caps are on the table that you put the right one. You don't want water in your reagent. And if you use the other cap, for, you know, if it had the reagent in the cap because this was your storage cap and you put that on your test, it's gonna affect your test. So one improvement I would suggest to NEOS is use a different color cap. I know you probably did this for manufacturing cost reasons, but that, that would be a, a source of concern for me to worry about when I was doing these tests. I came back after five minutes and I, I picked up the reagent and almost took the cap off to put on the color chart. <laughs> really bad idea I think this is the second time doing the first test that I've confused my test vial with one of the reagents I would strongly suggest that you guys do something about that okay so that sleeve I forgot is actually to help you do your color test and um, I have almost undetectable nitrates that are not going to show up on, on this tank. Um, I'm going to check another tank 
the, the water in one of my other tanks and see if the nitrates are higher like in my frag tank or something else and see if I can get a, a little bit better test for it. Well at first I was thinking there was something wrong with the NEOS test kit because I've tried two different tanks um, here and I was expecting because I've actually been overfeeding my frag tank on purpose because I wanted to try and get a little higher nitrates and um, the test kit is still reading zero so I grabbed my API test kit which I'm very familiar with and as you can see even on my frag tank that I've been overfeeding I'm, I'm showing up with zero so <clears throat> I'm trusting that the kit works because it's matching uh, my API test kit which is also reading zero but um, as far as the equipment I can't speak to that um, honestly I'm, I'm still happy with my API test kit because it's I don't think it has anything to do with me just being more familiar with it it's because there's one test vial both reagents go into it and the result is here and you you hold it up against this color chart and you're done I've never seen the uh, the reagent after it says you're supposed to wait five minutes after putting the second reagent in here you know, <clears throat> it's 10 drops for the first reagent 10 drops for the second reagent there's no powders to scoop you don't have to worry about how level it is if it's a heaping scoop it's a level scoop which I found frustrating with the neos um, so with the API one it's 10 drops for reagent 1 10 drops for reagent 2 and I've never seen the actual test get lighter it only gets darker so you could wait the full five minutes but more than likely within the first 20 to 30 seconds if you have high nitrates it's gonna show over 20 right away and what do you really care if it's over 20 after that um, you know you got a problem right so you could wait the full five minutes and see if you're all the way up to 60 100 whatever but um, I know this was supposed to be a review about the NEOS and um, I guess one positive thing I have to say is this is really pretty and I've never seen this done and there's a lot more um, notches on the scale if you will of where you're at in your tank measurements so that is handy and I do like this quick reference um, you probably wouldn't even need to read the instructions if you just use this quick reference I am not going to give up on this test kit but I probably am not going to buy one again I hope this review was helpful for you um, if this is your first time checking out my channel please hit that subscribe button thumbs up thumbs down and leave me a comment below let me know what else you want to see me review and thanks for watching